Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weaves GNZ Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video this mod is all about the business mega pack mod so all you guys got to do is download and install all of the latest requirements download the mod i will leave this mod inside my description below make sure that you download the mod this mod does require enable all interiors I will leave this mod inside my description below and lastly this mod does require lemon UI now when you go to lemon UI you will need to download version 1.5.2 make sure that you do download this version over here do not download the latest version over here so all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, open the file location. Now next, go to your skits folder. If you do not have skits folder, simply right click, go to new, and I create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your skits folder and now let's begin. Now firstly, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder. Next go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder then exit out of your extract folder. Second, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Select all the files except for the lemon download.txt file and now drag it inside your skits folder and exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your business mega pack extract folder. Go to this folder Go to your skits folder. Now simply select all the files and folders, all of it, except for the lemon UI download text and drag it inside your skits folder. This process will take a few seconds and select replace. Now next, exit out of your extract folder. Next. All you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, scroll right down to the bottom, about up to here, go to your skithook v.net.ini, double click, and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. I have already changed mine, so I don't need to change it. Then save it. Once you have completed all that, Right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are here with Franklin. So when you come into the game, okay, your game might freeze, okay, so don't worry. Just let the game load, and then now you'll be back to normal. So once you're in the game, there's a few things that you must do first before you do anything. Go to your contacts, then now all you got to do is go right down to the bottom. Now the first thing that you must do is go to enable all interiors. 
got to change an interior and now you can choose which business you want enabled now for the video sake I'm just going to do the executive interiors now make sure that you do have them all like enabled to true okay like warehouse garage true large garage true and etc okay once you have all your business on true then now you can back out to your main menu then go right down to the bottom to misc options now make sure you have enabled markers on true make sure that the load mp maps is on true and really important Make sure that your enable blips is on true, right there. And now this is optional, but make sure that your random color blips is on true as well. Like I said, it's optional. Now back up to your main menu and now go to refresh interiors. Wait for a few seconds, then exit out of your menu. Now go on your keyboard and press insert. Now your game will freeze for only a few seconds or a minute. It depends on your PC performance. Now once your game is back on, as you can see, it's all loaded. The second thing that you must do is go back to your phone, go to your contacts, go right down to the bottom, then go to business helper. What you need to do now is to buy the business. So go to purchase a business. And now the business that I enabled was the executive. So I need to go to executive business and I need to choose my location. Um, I'm going to choose the Maze Bank Tower. There you go. I bought the Maze Bank Tower. Now I've got full access to that business. So I will see you guys at the Maze Bank Tower. And now we are at the Maze Bank Tower. I drove here on my car, and now you'll see the grey dot over here. So once you are at your location, just go closer to the dot. Then now you'll see this little view, and now press E to enter the, to the office. Now you should not fly through the map, there you go. And then uh, she will sit down right there. So everything works, okay. You can sit on the seat, you can start a mission. I have already tested all the missions, everything works. Go to your seat, press Q, and now you can press E on your keyboard, and now you can start your mission, you can go Passive mode options, you can um, change the organization, uh, yeah, you can change the name of your business, change the design, and etc. Uh, but I'm going to leave everything as default. You can go to business upgrade, and now you can purchase your garage, whatever garage you want, okay? You can purchase a mod shop or a level 3 garage. And then you can upgrade everything over here. Once you have finished with that, then you can just only exit by pressing Q. And there you go. So yeah, everything still works. And I hope you guys do have fun with this mod. And we're back on our PC. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. If you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please comment below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods like GTA V or Cyberpunk 2077, then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. With that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.